everyone, I'm teacher Andre from ChrisAmericos.com and today we are going to master the elusive passive voice. Passive voice, often shrouded in grammatical mystery and misunderstood by many, is like a secret agent in the world of language. While it may not always be the hero of your sentences, it operates quietly in the background, adding a touch of intrigue and allowing the action to take center stage. So let's peel back the layers of this linguistic enigma and explore the world of the passive voice, where the subject often becomes the unsung hero of your story. What is passive voice? The passive voice is a grammatical construction that emphasizes the object of an action rather than the subject. This means that the object receives more attention than the subject. It can also be used to avoid mentioning the subject altogether making it a useful tool in certain situations. When using the passive voice, it is important to include both the agent and the object. This helps to clarify who or what is performing the action and who or what is receiving the action. Example, the ball was thrown by John. In this passive construction, it includes both the agent and the object. The passive voice is formed by using the appropriate form of the verb to be and the past participle of the main verb. Example, the ball was kicked by the boy. Active voice versus passive voice. The active voice structure looks something like this. Subject, verb, object. In an active voice sentence, the subject performs the action. Example, the chef cooked a delicious meal. In this sentence, the chef performs the action of cooking on a delicious meal. She wrote a compelling novel. In this sentence, she was the one writing a compelling novel. A passive voice sentence structure looks a little something like this. The object of the action, the to be verb, past participle of your main verb, an optional by, and the doer of the action. In a passive voice sentence, the subject receives the action and the doer is either not mentioned or is added at the end of the sentence. Example, a delicious meal was cooked by the chef. In this sentence, a delicious meal is receiving the action and the doer of the action, the chef, appears at the end of the sentence. A compelling novel was written by her. In this sentence, a compelling novel is receiving the action and her appears at the end of the sentence. Let's compare these two voices. The active voice emphasizes the doer of the action, making it more direct and clear. The passive voice emphasizes the receiver of the action or the action itself. It's often used when the doer of the action is unknown or unimportant. In active voice, the subject typically comes before the verb, making it a straightforward and easily readable sentence. In passive voice, the structure is often more complex because the object of the action is moved to the beginning and the doer of the action is typically found near the end of the sentence. The active voice is commonly used for clear and concise communication. It is suitable for most types of writing, which includes stories, essays and reports. Passive voice is used when the focus is on the action or the result of the action. It is often used in scientific or academic writing. When changing a sentence from the active to the passive voice, the tense of the verb changes. Example, cooked becomes was cooked. When and why we use the passive voice. We use the passive voice when we want to emphasize the action or the process rather than the person or entity performing the action. Why? This allows us to focus on the research or the experiment itself rather than the researchers. In scientific writing, the emphasis is often on the method or results. Example, the data were collected and analyzed versus we collected and analyzed the data. We use the passive voice to maintain objectivity, especially in scientific writing, where the use of personal pronouns like I or we is often discouraged. Why? We use the passive voice to create an impersonal and formal tone, which is suitable when presenting data and findings in an objective way. Example, the experiment was conducted using a randomized controlled group versus we conducted the experiment 
using a randomized control group. We use the passive voice to introduce an element of mystery or when the actor is unknown or unimportant. Why? This can be useful in the cases where the source or the cause of the effect is not clear or when the actor is not the main focus of the sentence. Example, the anomaly was detected in the data versus someone detected the anomaly in the data. We use the passive voice to achieve clarity and precision when describing a step-by-step -step process or sequence of events. Why? The passive voice can be useful when the emphasis is on the order of events. Example, the sample was prepared and then it was subjected to various tests versus we prepared the sample and then subjected it to various tests. We use the passive voice consistently through a paper if that is the chosen style. Why? Consistency in your voice can improve your flow and readability of your scientific writing. How to convert the active voice to the passive voice and vice versa. We're going to start with converting the active to the passive voice. First of all, we're going to need to identify the subject, verb and object in the active sentence. Then we're going to move the object of the active sentence to the beginning of your passive sentence. Remember to use the appropriate form of the verb to be according to the tense of the active sentence. Lastly, add the past participle form of the original verb after the form of to be. You can add the agent by using the preposition by if it's necessary to mention the performer of the action. Example, the chef is cooking a delicious meal. A delicious meal is being cooked by a chef. In the passive voice, the object, a delicious meal, is moved to the beginning of the sentence. The appropriate form of the to be verb, is, is used with the past participle of the verb, cooked. The agent, the chef, is included by using the preposition by. Let's convert the passive to the active voice. To start, identify the subject and the verb in the passive sentence. Then move the subject to the beginning of the active sentence. Choose an appropriate verb that fits the tense and context of the original passive sentence. Remember to place the former object of the passive sentence in its usual place after the verb. Example, a delicious meal was cooked by the chef. The chef cooked a delicious meal. In the active voice, the subject is moved to the beginning and the correct form of the verb cooked is used. The original object, a delicious meal, is placed after the verb. When converting between the active and passive sentences, it is important to remember context, clarity, and emphasis. Common mistakes and how to avoid making them. People often use the passive voice when the active voice is more appropriate, leading to sentences that are unclear and awkward. How can we avoid this? Identify the subject, verb and object in your sentence. Choose the active voice when the doer of the action is known or important. Reserve the passive voice when the focus is on the action or when the doer of the action is unknown or unimportant. Example, the report was written by me. Use active voice instead. I wrote the report. Another mistake people often make is switching between the active and passive voice when writing. This leads to confusion in your writing. How can you avoid this? Maintain consistency throughout your writing. Decide on the tone you want to set for your piece and stick with it. Example, the experiment results were analyzed. We then conducted further research. Instead, we analyzed the experiment's results. We then conducted further research. Are you ready for a few practical exercises? Let's convert the active to the passive voice. The teacher explained the lesson. Answer, the lesson was explained by the teacher. The chef is preparing a special meal for the guests. Answer, a special meal is being prepared for the guests by the chef. They will finish the project by tomorrow. Answer, the project will be finished by tomorrow. She wrote a beautiful song for the occasion. Answer, a beautiful song was written for the occasion by her. The workers have built a new bridge. 
Enter the new bridge has been built by the workers. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with family and friends if you want them to master the elusive passive voice as well. Remember to subscribe or go to chrisamericos.com if you want to learn more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.